The Knights are winning this game by the Papers Republic of China and Queen's College, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the 2019 WNBA Draft. and celebrating what makes this league and the women of the WNBA so exceptional. Their power and confidence, their ability to inspire, and their determination to challenge convention on the court and in our culture. It's basketball on their terms, with players at the heart of it. Congratulations, enjoy this moment, and welcome to the WNBA. With the 14th pick in the 2019 WNBA Draft, the New York Liberty select Han Shu from China. some of the physicality and just some of that type of stuff, but she's skilled and knows how to play basketball and it's, it's caught on really well. Han is doing great. She's, uh, she's got a great personality. She's catching on quick. Discussion, I find myself having to explain China uh, to Americans a lot. And uh, so this game, uh, by bringing the uh, national women's team uh, from China, uh, is a platform uh, for the two peoples, uh, for the two cultures, uh, to uh, uh, see how each other compete and to uh, learn a little bit more about uh, each other's uh, cultures. Uh, I think this kind of people and people to people exchange uh, is absolutely important. So if there's more opportunities for me to support um, uh, these kind of exchanges, uh, I would definitely uh, do more of that. Well, on this uh, very beautiful day, the day before uh, we leave for the People's Republic of China, it's a special privilege for me to uh, meet the uh, basketball team that is representing uh, the People's Republic of China. When Mrs. Ford and I were in the uh, People's Republic of China in 1972, we visited a good many areas in China, including Liaoning Province, Shenyang, Ansan, as well as Peking and Canton. Every place we went, we saw more basketball courts than even in the United States. I predicted then that uh, we would uh, have in the United States some very rugged competition on the basketball court, 
both the uh, men as well as women. We saw young boys and girls at a very early age uh, learning to play basketball uh, with small balls and uh, lowered backboards. I'm sure that this uh, fine team uh, from the People's Republic will uh, do very well in competition against our American teams. I understand there's a game tonight out at the uh, Federal City College. I wish it was possible for me to attend, but I'll look forward to reading the results uh, in the paper tomorrow morning. The visit of these fine uh, young ladies uh, from the People's Republic is another step in the normalization of relations between our country and the People's Republic. I strongly believe that cultural exchanges, educational exchanges, competition in athletics are all important in trying to expand this normalization of relations between the two countries. I'm looking forward to the trip uh, beginning tomorrow morning to visit again the People's Republic of China. It is a trip of great significance. It will be another uh, step in the effort on the part of uh, the two governments to expand our relations and to broaden the normalization. It is vital from our point of view that this uh, dialogue, these discussions uh, continue. And I'm looking forward to the trip, as I know uh, the Secretary of State is, and uh, Mrs. Ford and Susan and I are most anxious to have the opportunity of visiting your country. We welcome you to the United States. We uh, know that you will be warmly received. I uh, know the contest will be good. I'm a little prejudiced as to who I hope might win. Thank you very much for coming to the White House. I understand you're visiting uh, the White House after uh, this uh, a brief meeting here. We welcome you to the residence and wish you well on your trip throughout the United States. I might make two other comments. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I had noticed uh, how uh, many basketball courts there were, beginning with smaller ones. I made the comment to Mrs. Ford that I was certain that out of 800 million people, uh, I was positive there would be developed a, a Chinese uh, Wilt Chamberlain. And I also tried a little uh, ping pong with some of the uh, very uh, able Chinese ping pong players, and I quit after about the first uh, exchange. Who is the coach? I find that athletes develop leadership uh, characteristics uh, that they can, these le lessons on the sports field or on the court, uh, that they can take, uh, uh, you know, beyond uh, their sports careers. Uh, they can take to, in, into a business career when they're in leadership positions. So I think it's absolutely important for uh, women uh, to have other women uh, uh, who serve as role models that they can look up to.
it was the 40th anniversary of the establishment in 1979 of diplomatic relations between the United States and China. In 1973, the women's basketball team from John F. Kennedy College in Nebraska came to China and played several games. And in January 1974, Tai Yuen, a women's basketball team from China, came to the United States on a goodwill tour and played at least one game, a game against Queens College. November 1975. It was the first time that the women's national basketball team from the People's Republic of China came to play basketball in the United States. They played five games against the following five opponents. Queens College, Delta State University, California State University at Fullerton, Federal City College, now known as the University of the District of Columbia, and the United States women's national basketball team. The trip was sponsored by the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations and the Association for Intercollegiate Athletics for Women. The slogan for the visit was Friendship First, Competition Second. The four college teams were among the best in the United States. Delta State University was the defending college national champions. Federal City College was ranked number one in a college preseason forecast in the fall of 1975. Federal City's game against the China national team took place at Cole Fieldhouse on the campus of the University of Maryland. California State University at Fullerton had finished third in the preceding national championship tournament. Queens College was a perennial elite team in the country and the best team in New York. The game against Queens College was played at the Mecca of Basketball, Madison Square Garden. The day after Queens College played the China national team at Madison Square Garden, the China national team visited Queens College. The trip included a visit to the White House and meeting President Gerald Ford, who was preparing to embark on a trip to China to continue diplomatic efforts to normalize relations between the two countries. For the most part, I hope everyone will enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. In this game, uh, 21 uh, minutes, uh, 27 seconds, uh, got 19 points. I just asked her uh, to say a few words about uh, her feeling, and uh, uh, and these days, her training with the uh, uh, Liberty. Um, just now in the locker room, I thank my coach for um, all the work that she put through, and she said, "You deserve it." Um, and this, you know, this made me think that you know the hard work i deserve the hard work that i put through uh, as for my position in the wnba i wish to have uh, stability and learn what i can learn from uh, my experience here and hopefully bring some back with me to china and as for the younger people um, i hope i can be uh, an inspiring uh, player to them and motivate people to come out and watch the games and uh, really bring some attention to uh, women's basketball. I was happy to see the turnout today, uh, whether if it's uh, people from the Asian community and uh, the locals in Brooklyn and New York, um, and it was... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, New York Liberty is the team with a lot of potential and um, I hope to, to learn with my teammates. 
I thought Han um, was solid. You know, I think the one thing we love about her is she's able to score the basketball in, in a variety of ways, whether it's around the rim or knocking down 15, 17 footers and even has three, three point range. Um, that helps us immensely. Um, a little bit of rim protection, um, but it's just comfortable, I think, so far. Again, there's some learning curves, a little bit of physicality, and then obviously us and our plays and, and the communication, making sure that she knows. But overall, I was really pleased by her, her first game for the Liberty. Hey Han, how you doing? Hey, good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Uh, <laughs> it's good to see you again. Um, so you've been in training camp about a month. Talk about the things that you've worked on to improve your basketball game. Uh, actually, I discovered a lot of flaws through the training camp, and I feel like finding flaws is part of an improvement. So that's I, I physically not so much improvement, but finding out my own flaws was a big improvement for me. Uh, what are the things she's enjoying doing off the court? Uh, cooking at home for myself. Yeah. Has she found any favorite spots in Brooklyn yet? I found a really nice Korean restaurant with uh, fried chicken and really good beef well. And last question, um, has she done anything that she's kind of didn't want to tell her parents? <laughs> Han Shu was the youngest player in the WNBA in the 2019 season, her first season in the WNBA, at just 19 years old. As it turned out, Han did not get much playing time in her rookie season with the New York Liberty. In her first year in the United States, and without being able to speak English, Han was able to convey her friendly, sincere, down-to-earth, thoughtful, and poised personality. If one day Han Shu becomes a star WNBA basketball player, maybe she'll also become a beacon who brings people of diverse backgrounds together.